The coronavirus. Tonight, Governor Charlie Baker is warning that there are difficult days ahead as we approach what he calls the eye of the storm of this pandemic. There are almost 1,400 new cases of coronavirus in the state today, bringing the total number to more than 26,000 in Massachusetts. 88 more people died, bringing that total to just more than 840. As Ken McLeod reports, local leaders say it is too soon to talk about returning to normal. It was pretty clear today that the governor and mayor are on the same page when it comes to not talking too much about what comes after the COVID-19 surge. Both are urging folks to bear down on just one thing, stopping the spread. That's not only unrealistic, that's completely irresponsible. That was the Boston mayor's response to President Trump's assertion about untying the nation's economy on May 1st. We are still in the very beginning of this surge. We have to stay focused. There have, of course, been many local discussions behind the scenes about what some sort of staggered post-surge economic restart would look like. But I really don't want people to start to think today that this is over. The governor does, though, want people to know about the 400 companies that have stepped forward, offering to retool their factories to make everything from PPE to ventilators, like the Lawrence clothing firm that today started making these isolation gowns. Normally, it takes six to 18 months to develop a new product. In this case, it has taken three weeks. She says retooling the plant has been like trying to sip water from a fire hose, but her firm had funds and expertise from MERT, the state's newly formed manufacturing emergency response team. MERT helps companies identify what types of items we need, gives regulatory guidance, and helps coordinate supplies and staff help. But neither the governor or the mayor tried to sugarcoat it. The next two weeks and maybe more are likely to be brutal. According to the new, some new models, the peak is projected to arrive closer to the end of April. Which is why the focus remains on setting up, equipping, and staffing more field hospitals so actual hospitals can have space for the critically ill, a worst case scenario lesson learned from Italy. COVID just overwhelmed their healthcare system, and it wasn't just COVID patients that were dying, it was almost anybody who needed almost anything. As for the school shutdown, now scheduled to last into the first week of May, the governor acknowledges he may have to revisit that. In the meantime, he says there's plenty of room for improvement on the remote learning front. At the State House tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.